Okay, so practice tool number 10, visualization. Uh, this is a very, very good tool to use uh, on any level of playing actually. So, uh, and the sooner you start using this, the better, because uh, it will help you to connect your, your ear to the instrument. So you, you're improvising and you're learning and everything will get better the more you practice this. And uh, it's a good habit to get into to whenever you have downtime, down you know, sitting on the train or a bus or a plane or whatever. Uh, you can work on, on music. And uh, they actually found in several studies that the mind cannot really distinguish between doing something for real and only uh, imagining or visualizing. So, and you probably heard of the test where you can, if you think about uh, biting into a big juicy uh, lemon, that your mouth might, mouth might start watering. And that's, you know, that's a sort of a clear way to illustrate that point. And, uh, the way to do this is to uh, just start start with a start where you're at basically. So let's take this Bach thing as an example again. Uh, if you if you can imagine that whole section with the sound that you want and everything, and you can imagine your way how it feels to play it, then as much as possible get, get into detail of you know the sound and everything that's great just keep on going but if you have problems with that just start with uh, maybe the first three or four notes so so try to hear that in your mind okay and it doesn't matter when, when you're away from the instrument it doesn't matter if you Imagine something in the right key. Uh, what matters is that you have the right intervals. So you can just as well imagine this in. It doesn't matter as long as you keep imagining in the same key as, as you started in, of course. But uh, so you don't have to have a perfect pitch or anything like that. Uh, and you can even try out the different practice tools just in your mind. Just think about if you get to the point where you can hear Try to imagine maybe the accent thing. Uh, and just different mental challenges like that. And it's like meditation. The more you do it, the, the more control you get over your mind. And it's uh, super important because it, it will lead you to being able to uh, improvise in your mind and see what you're playing and, and you can of course apply that when you get to get to the guitar so it's, it's a really cool thing and like I said it, it's no mumbo jumbo they, they have several studies on this even in music they've tried it with uh, uh, they had a group of amateur piano players, or if it, if they, I don't remember if they, maybe even they, they weren't playing anything, but it, they just gave them a, some scale pattern like this to practice, and they had a set practice routine, and they had different groups, and the group that visualized and practiced for real had the best results, but the group that only visualized wasn't that far behind. So, uh, they, they actually measured the amount of activity in, in the brain as well, in that section where motor skills are stored. So, uh, it's, a, it's a really cool thing. And, and like I said, uh, ideally, you'll be able to imagine the music as you want to hear it, because then you have a model when you go to sit down and, and actually practice the piece for for real and <laughs> that really helps because if you don't have that model in your mind it's sort of like um, 
uh, you know it when you hear it kind of practicing which is fine uh, you have to start somewhere but it the stronger uh, the stronger uh, mental view you have of what you want to achieve the easier it will be to to do it so uh, sort of like a, like a painter or sculptor if they if they can see what they want to do it's much easier to to get that result so uh, another example is uh, Glenn Gould uh, a super genius piano player he uh, read an interview where he said his teacher taught him how to practice mentally. So he, he learned, uh, you know, he played, he's played a lot, one of the world's foremost Bach piano players. And he used to practice uh, the well-tempered clavier pieces and uh, the Goldberg vari variations, you know, and really intricate uh, stuff with fugues and several voices moving in uh, in counterpoint so if he could imagine that in his head uh, and play as well as he did uh, we sure can work on single note lines at, at least so the more you do it the better you will get at it and I can't recommend it enough so try it out and good luck